Hi guys, welcome to my channel. You are tuned in with Cindy December. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my track season. If you guys don't know, I'm a professional athlete. I run track professionally and this season has been very interesting. So I want to discuss a little bit about how that went. I'm in Budapest, Hungary for the World Championship. So I've completed my race and my season essentially. And I kind of just want to go over a season recap, what went on this season and how I feel how I'm trusting the lore, throw out of it, all that stuff. So this year started off in an interesting way. I was very, very encouraged coming into this 2023 season because my season in 2022 was really good for me. I set a personal best. I made the world championship final in Oregon. I medaled at Commonwealth Games. Now it's just very consistent overall. Um, obviously I had some goals I didn't achieve last year. So I was going into 2023 with such high standards, such high goals. So fast forward a few months, I start winter training and I'm just so excited getting prepped for the year. My knee is bothering me quite a bit. So I've had some knee issues over the past few years, dealing with them last year as a personal best. So it's not an issue that I can't run through per se, but it did get to a point where it was so painful. And as I pushed through my knee pain, it started affecting other parts of my body as I ran. So as you know, a lot of our body parts are connected and I was obviously compensating because of the pain I was feeling. And essentially I had a hamstring issue after that. So not only was I dealing with the knee pain, my hamstring has somewhat pulled in a sense and that set me back. So I spent a lot of my indoor season um, rehabbing and biking and swimming and not really running the way I would like. So I got really frustrated, especially with God, because I'm like, Lord, I'm praying, I'm doing everything I can. Please just allow this to happen. Like allow me to be healthy. So I went through so much with injury early on in my career. I'm like, Lord, please. Like I'm literally stronger and better as an athlete now. I don't want to deal with this again. I tried to do an indoor season, ran some of my slowest times because of the lack of training. And I was like, you know what? I'm not feeling good. <laughs> Let's stop and get ready for outdoor. So I get ready for outdoor. And as I begin, I'm like, okay, so what can I do to help my knee? And I found a solution that seems to help me. I, I got some, some injections that helped me with pain and essentially it helped, but with those injections, I had to take time off again. So as I got the injections, I had to do a couple of them. Each time I had to take time off from training and that was just more time that I wasn't training. And so I ended up missing so much training this year, you guys. It was really, really hard because I'm a, one, I'm a hard worker. I really like to train because I know what it does for me in meets. I don't like the process of how hard it feels, but I know that without it, I'm not the best athlete I can be. I know I need it to be in shape and to have a good rhythm. So fast forward to like May time frame, I'm like, okay, I'm at my last injection. I can finally begin to start training again. At this point, training is looking like early season. Like I'm doing things that like people should be doing early on and I'm pretty much playing catch up a lot of the time. And that's kind of how, this, that was kind of the, the memo my whole season was catch up. So I open my season in June, run a slow time, but I definitely get over the hurdles. Everything's good. Um, I'm like, you know what, it's slow, but I still have a season ahead of me we can do this. As I continue to progress through my season, I wasn't running times I would have liked. I actually had a race where I went into the meet and fell. For the first time since, let's see, college, it was like 10 years, I fell in the race. And I'm like, seriously? What is going on? What is happening? And part of it, like I said, was probably just lack of training and other things and other factors that played into that. But for the most part, I'm like really discouraged at this point. And I have another meet in like three days and I go race again, still don't finish the race. And I'm like, this has never happened to me. Like, what is going on, Lord? I'm praying, I'm asking you. I was sacrificing going to friends' parties and weddings and all these things I'm sacrificing as an athlete because I want to do my best. And you're allowing me to go through the most difficult season of my life with track, like one of the most difficult seasons because I'm like trying extremely hard to get very little, I guess, payoff. So essentially I ended up getting over that hump of not finishing races. Eventually, it took a little bit of time and I started finishing again, but my time still weren't reflecting my training and just reflecting the amount of effort I was putting in. And so I get into the world championships a little less confident than normal because I know that not only did I have the early season setbacks, but I had other things that hindered my mindset going into the meet. And normally I go in with a lot of confidence. My knee was not as painful as it had been and a lot of things felt really good. However, the lack of race sharpness, the, I guess, just the mental aspect of it. I've been working through the mental all season, um, but I was still fighting through some stuff. And 
essentially it just didn't come together when it mattered and I am usually the athlete that can peak when it matters and I can do things at the right time and that just didn't happen for me so I'm sad and I'm kind of tired of having to watch from the sidelines sometimes for things or I'm tired of putting in effort and knowing that I'm very much capable of a medal. I know I can medal at championships. I really, really believe that in me and I know what's inside of me, um, but it's just not coming to fruition. And I know that I'm praying and asking the Lord for help um, and it's like almost like an unanswered prayer in a sense, but I had to go back and reflect on my season. And when I was at the beginning of my season, you guys, the pain I was feeling was indescribable. It was so bad. I had never felt anything like it. And I was struggling to walk, y'all. I couldn't do 10 meter, 10 meter sprints without so much pain and limping. I couldn't even get over a hurdle. I couldn't make it to the hurdle. So there was a lot of things I couldn't do that I could do literally 10 months ago. And I started praying and asking the Lord to just help me find a solution. And he did do that. He did end up helping me find a solution. He answered one prayer, but then it's like, but Lord, I want more. It just feels like sometimes we put in the work, we pray, we do all this work. Um, and it sometimes feels like it's going in vain. But I have sat down and reflected for a few days and I truly believe that Nothing we do goes in vain, you guys. Nothing we do. The Lord uses everything we go through, good or bad, to frame us, to frame our mindsets, to help our souls, to make us better people. He knows how much I want to do well at the Olympics next year. And I'm trusting him for that. I believe that when it's time, it's going to click. When it's time, I'm going to have a good season. When it's time, it's going to happen. And I know that the Lord's going to do that in whatever way that looks. However, it can be hard. And I know that some people who are watching this go through things where you're asking, you're doing, you're putting in all the work and you know how capable you are. You're seeing others receive with the blessings and things that you desire and you're not seeing it for yourself. And I'm here to tell you you're not alone. I'm here to remind you that that's life. That's life. And I have accepted that. And I recognize that if I know I put all my efforts into something and I asked and prayed and did everything I could and the Lord still said no or not yet, then I gotta be okay with that. And that's kind of how my mindset has shifted this year is sometimes you have great seasons, other times you don't. So yeah, I just wanna encourage anybody out there who might be going through the same thing and struggling with issues in regard to that because I know that I am and I know that it's not easy, especially if you feel like you're alone and yeah. So I hope this helps you. I plan on doing a full year next year and feeling really encouraged going to the Olympics. Although this year wasn't good, I know that there's so much more in the tank. Shutting it down earlier than I normally do, but I'm going to use this time to really reflect, fix myself as an athlete and fix the things that I know I need to work on because going into this year, I have so much more knowledge of what I need to do. And that's gonna set me up very, very well. And maybe that's all the Lord wanted me to do was figure out those things and help set me up even stronger for the following year. So. Yeah, and I hope that you can remember that no matter what you're going through, keep pushing, keep trusting and believing it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen for you and it might not look the way you want it to look, but you're gonna have something so much better at the end of it. So remember that God loves you, trust his will, trust his plan, and it's gonna all work out. If you guys like faith-based content, athletic content, just seeing athletes lifestyle or just couple videos from my husband and I like to do videos, then you guys wanna subscribe for more. I hope this thing encourages you and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.